I was I mean trusting God of what happened last time. But I and I believe nga walang may ano sa amin. But because of you know the situation and we're following some protocols we don't want in case no baka makaano tayo so we didn't come last week last sunday and it's just like we thank god that everything's okay cc meron talaga ng ano way before pa so and where my wife was so hesitant to hesitant to come today uh because of uh his ano nga yung ticket niya uh, na kakaano lang but I told her, "Why do we stay? We have, we're here to glorify God. Uh, we, if we want blessing to come in our lives, we have to go and find our needs and move closer to the seeker, uh, to the blesser, the one who gives us blessings. Why do we have to find blessing if we want to So uh, there's a little bit of, you know, you uh, know, and then." Uh, because she's really like super protect, overprotective sa kay Zee. She wants good for Zee. And I, I understand being a mother. Sayang niya. Ang ano niya. And her personality as well. She really wants Zee to be totally healthy. You know? For, for Zee to come. But I told, him, I told her, God will heal Zee. God will be here. God will be with us. And let's just put our faith in Him. And also, I have some struggles as well. Ang hirap pala pag two weeks nasa bahay ka, nakakabuwang. Totoo. Uh, kanya, pag gising mo sa umaga, nandun ka lang eh, nakaupo sa sopa. Kasi hindi naman ako, na, nakakaano naman, pero yung, yung ano ba na, nandun ka lang for two weeks, tapos pag may kailangan ka, gusto kong lumabas kasi may kailangan sa bahay. Kailangan namin ng ano, kailang bumili ng antibiotic niya siya, tsaka ano. Mabuti na lang meron kami yung uh, friend one call away. Yeah. <laughs> Kaya pag, pag message niya kami na, Red, baka lalaplay may sisipin. Mga 5 minutes talaga na siya. <laughs> <laughs> grabe nga po, grabe nga. Taxi, di mo rin nga tabay pa. <laughs> but you know, we thank God for, you know, for, for a brother na we can count on uh, at that time. I wanna go out but, you know, as what the protocol has said, Grabe ngayon, uh, 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 pang, pang five digit, ah, four, ah, four digit pa, pang four digit ah, Thailand ngayon ano, but uh, still, God, God is in control because we're still here, we're still worshiping Him in spirit and in truth, amen? So, um, let's all stand and let's all read uh, Exodus, open our Bibles in the book of Exodus. Numbers, pala, numbers, sorry, numbers chapter 13. Numbers chapter 13. And let's just read. Actually, we will uh, cover all the verses, chapter, the whole chapter. But for this time, uh, numbers chapter 13, verses one, verses 30 and 31. So we will be um, seeing the life of Caleb. Uh, the life of Caleb, 13, verse 30 to 31. Let's all read together. And Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. Verse 31. But the men that went up with him said, We be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord God, Thank you again for this moment, for this time that you've given to us to serve you, to worship you in spirit and truth. Thank you, Lord God, for the message. We're praying that this message would encourage us and to remind us of um, having you in our lives, O Lord. Lord, again, we ask for forgiveness for our sins, O Lord. You said uh, we may not be able to commit uh, in will, but we thank you, Lord God, that uh, because of your grace and mercy we are uh, cleansed lord god again uh, we magnify you we glorify you in our lives in jesus name amen please be seated okay so that's our text for today found in the book of numbers chapter 13 verse 30 to 31 but before that i will sing a song 
Uh, dali lang ni Wally ko. Uh, 10 minutes. Uh, 15 minutes. Yeah, I was saying through it all. You know, there are times in our lives na we are uh, thinking na uh, pa yung troubles sa life natin. And I praise God that, you know, uh, we can overcome it with Him. Uh, can we wait here? Sir? Through it all, by Guy Pekoa. The hymn, uh, hymn at the actual hymn. I've had many tears and sorrow. I've had questions for tomorrow. There have been times I didn't know right from wrong. But in every situation, God gave blessed consolation that my trial soul can come to make me strong. I've been a lot of places, I've seen so many faces, but there have been times I felt so alone. But in that lonely hour, in that precious lonely hour, Jesus let me know I was his own. And so I say, through it all. Through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Through it all, through it all, I've learned to depend upon His Word. So I thank God for the mountain. Thank you for the valleys. Thank you for the storms he's brought me through. For if I'd never had a problem, I wouldn't know that he could solve them. I wouldn't know what faith in God can do. So I'm singing through it all. Through it all. trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Through it all, through it all, I've learned to depend upon His Word. Yes, I've learned to depend upon His Word. Yes, I've learned to So through it all. So we have been like in so many things that's going on in our lives nowadays. We just only need to know that we have Christ in us. That through it all, that there's Christ in us who will love us. Amen. In first John chapter four, verse nineteen. If you will open our Bibles over there. First John chapter four, verse nineteen. First John chapter four verse nineteen. If any man say, if a man say, I love God and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can we love whom he hath seen? First oh. John four nineteen. Yes. Okay, so he loved me. Uh, in twenty, in verse twenty, in verse nineteen, we love him because. He first loved us. Sorry na ako mata. Okay, so, Jesus loved us. There's, there's love in Him na even though we thought that we are alone, we are being so many people that, sur that, that surround us. We, there are people that surround us, but then we still feel lonely. But still remember this thing that God loves us. 
because he first loved us. Even though we don't say we don't love him, but then Jesus' love is with us. Jesus' love is with us. We already possess the love of God in us. Amen? And also in Christ, we have patience. We have joy. Amen? We have peace. In John chapter 14, verse 27. John 14, 27. John 14, 27. It says there, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. So let's see grace and mercy of God in here. We can see that Jesus love gives us peace. So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, brothers and sisters. You know, uh, but the thing is, uh, we need to, you know, the title of the message is Possess Your Possession. How can we possess something without being, uh, we, without accepting it, no? So we need to accept something before we possess it. Now, a while ago, I was like looking at uh, Yana. Uh, her voice is so powerful. No? And like sa mga bosses ko, hindi na powerful bosses ko eh. Anong, anong mga great three ako, powerful din bosses ko? Uh, kumakanta ako sa ano eh, sa Born Free. Kaya na tayo, kinakanta ko na ng Born Free. Uh, o sumali ako sa ano, sa ano nun eh. Golden Voice pa nga, sabi ni Mang Pama, kailangan si Mang Pama. <laughs> Kaya hindi, kailangan niya si Mang Pama. Uh, so, Golden Voice of New South Wales Central School ako nun. But when I saw Yana a while ago, I hindi ko naalala yung sarili ko ah. Yana, nakita ko lang si Yana. She has this talent and she possessed it. Amen. She possessed the talent that God gave to her. Just like um uh yung mga gift na meron tayo. Yung damit na meron tayo. This is our possession. But if we will not possess this possession, wala lang tong, walang kwenta itong possession na to. Do you get what I mean? If we don't have Jesus Christ in our lives, walang kwenta ang pagpunta mo sa simbahan. Walang kwenta ang pagsabi mo, I'm a Christian. You need to say that I possess Jesus in me. And if you possess Jesus in you, you have his love, you have his patience, you have his joy, his peace, his wisdom, faith in your life. Amen? So we need to have Jesus. But how can we possess Jesus? Very simple, my friend. Just believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Simple lang. May nakita ako yung sa Facebook. While, while I was like um, scanning my Facebook sa uh, newsfeed, I saw this GodTube uh, page. But is baptism, uh, can baptism save you? Yun yung ano doon? Baptism save you. Marami akong nakita. Mga verse pong nao. But they didn't point out. Yung mga gusto lang nila is yung, yung gusto nilang makita. Tumari. So, I-highlight nila yung uh, sa Mark 16 ba yun? Mark chapter 16. Yung if thou shalt believe and be baptized. Highlight lang nila yung be baptized. But they don't see the believe. We only have to believe. Baptism is after you believe. Kaya nga, yung sprinkling, yung, yung pag ano ng kung sa ilong gopa, bunyag, Hindi ko ba lang sa Bisaya? Kung sa'yo, ang tatag. Bunyag po, no? Ang bunyag, sa tanong lang na! Amen? Ang bunyag, sa tanong lang. Sa tanim lang. Dilig ba? Dilig. Pero ang baptism, you need to believe first. You need to believe and be baptized. Welcome to the Christian world. Kaya nga, we, a 
our, our messages for the past few Sundays, for the past Sundays, for the past month is very strong. Na magikita natin na we are Baptists. We believe that Baptists cannot save us, but through possessing the Lord Jesus Christ, we will be saved. Amen. So if you have possessed Jesus Christ, you have His love. You have peace in your heart. No? That's why, yun nga, yung kanina, nagsasabi ako na ang wal, uh, parang ayaw pa. Kaya ayaw yung pumunta eh. Kasi gusto, gusto niya na talagang healthy CZ. And I said, uh, ato pa naman nga, wal yung subong, possess your position without fear. Tapos, hindi na malakad, no? Fear ka? We have to come. We have to worship and serve our Lord. Because we possess Him, if we truly possess Him, we are here in this place. We are serving Him. So maybe some of us are like unsatisfied with our lives. You know, we we're saying that we're Christian. Maybe we have possessed Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior already. But then the way we live is like unsatisfied. Maybe because you haven't truly received and possessed the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why when you come here, make sure that you are possessed with the Lord Jesus Christ, with His Holy Spirit. Make sure when you call yourself as Christian, you are satisfied with what you have, with who you are, with what you are. Because if you're unsatisfied, question. If you question, uh, if you have doubts, question. Are you truly saved? No. You cannot possess something unless it's given. It's already given, or you cannot possess something unless you receive it. Si Z, maraming binigay sa uh, si Yaya, sila ni Ivan. Maraming binigay kay Z. So we accept. So we possess. AZ possess them. Use them. Mga sapatos, mga damit, mga walker. Yung walker ngayon, ipapasa na naman. Sila naman po possess. Basa lang. But if they will not possess it unless they will see or accept. It's like the salvation of the Lord Jesus Christ. We will not possess it unless we receive it. We accept it. We believe on it. Okay, so make sure that if you possess Jesus Christ, it's true. Because if you're unsatisfied with the life you're living, question mark. Okay? So we need to possess our possession, which is, you know, ang possession na binigay sa atin ng, ng Panginoong Yeso Cristo is the salvation. And love, joy, peace will just follow. Right? In Galatians chapter 5. But let's open our Bibles in the book of Romans, chapter 5, verse 5. So we need to possess. Romans 5, 5, it says there, And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto you. Again, and hope make it not ashamed because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto you. You have this already. It's in you. Amen. It's with us already. So, ano pa? Shed abroad huh? in our hearts. What? Which is given unto us. Also in Second Peter chapter 1 verse 3. as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue hath given unto us binigay na sa atin ng Panginoon we just need to even possess it so this is our possession Jesus Christ is our possession so what are the things that we will do in God's possession? In, let's go back to our text in Numbers chapter 13, verse 1. 
verse 30 to 31. And Caleb still the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. At this time of, uh, during this time, uh, yun yung pinadala ni yung mga spies na pumunta sa Canaan. No? So, uh, si Caleb, one of the trusted men of Joshua, Okay, one of the trusted men of Joshua uh, is fighting na or telling everyone na we can do this. Now we can possess this land. We can over, we're able to overcome it. Pero yung people of Israel, yung mga kasama niyang nag-fight, is cowardly. Yep. Uh, ano, mga afraid. No? Uh, but the man, in verse 31, but the man who went up with him said, We be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. Sabi ng uh, ibang mga uh, tanyan, uh, spies ng uh, Israelites ng Israel. Okay? Why do we have to do, we have to go there? Okay, so God had led the children of Israel out of Egypt, you know, the Exodus, and the wilderness, and desired to lead them into the land of Canaan. What is in Canaan? Yung, uh, the land filled with, going with, milk and honey. So God wants them to be there. Canaan was the land of riches. But then, it was inhabited by ayan, mga anak tao ni Ina. Ina. The men with Joshua and Caleb were afraid to try to take the land. Just afraid. Takot. Okay, God had already promised them the land. Okay? So God promised them, but then the people of Israel were just so afraid. Afraid sila. No? They're, God has promised this land, but then they're still afraid na pumunta doon at take over that land. So, but this is the land that God promised to them, but then the, the children, and so the children of Israel need to possess their possession, because that's their possession. The Canaan, the land of growing milk, of milk and honey, is their possession. But they have to possess it. And it's a promise of God, but then they're afraid. Nakita niyo yung ano ng mga Israelites? So, Rap, if you will look at sa pag, ano pala ni Moses kanila, pag, pag kuha ni Moses sa kanila sa ano, God had shown His powers. But then still, they are doubtful of God's strength. Because they said in verse 31, they are stronger than we. But then they are children of God. Just like us, no? We need to come to church. Okay? But then we are afraid because of the situation that surrounds us. Let's be. Let's re, let's remind ourselves that we need to possess our possession. Amen? We need to possess our possession. Now, what does? Why do we need? The why does the or why do the Israelites need to go to Canaan? Number one, Canaan is the liberty from. Oppression, freedom from oppression. In Romans chapter six, verse fourteen. Romans chapter six, verse fourteen. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. Now Jesus Christ has given us the way already. He has given us this, you no, 
no easy way, easiest way for us to possess that possession. But then, yung tao nga, no? People tend to make it, uh, tawag dyan, uh, complicated. No? Jesus Christ easily said, just believe. No? Just take it. But the people, no? Especially, ay uh, mga tao ngayon at nowadays they make things complicated also and then represents rest from wondering it been around no for a long time already it will be their accomplishment okay, rather than covered now Who's leading the uh, Israelites at this time? So, Joshua was the one who's leading the Israelites at this time. So, who is the head of the church again? Jesus Christ. Now, this is just, this is just a trivia, you know. Uh, Joshua, or Jesus, was named, as has the same name as Joshua. You know that? And Joshua is the Old Testament name of Jesus. Why? Joshua, I, I searched in Google. I researched the Google. Yeah. Joshua. Yeshua. Yeshua. Joshua. Okay? So Jesus was named for uh, Joshua. Okay? That's the Old Testament way. Actually, siguro hindi man siya Joshua. So siya Joshua. Yeshua talaga ang pag-pronounce na ng name ni Joshua when during the Hebrew time, Yeshua. So, and so Jesus represents Joshua and Caleb represents us. Caleb represents us. Okay? So Joshua led the people of Israel but then it depends on the people of Israel if they will possess the possession. It depends on us if we possess our possession. Jesus already gave his life. It's up to you if you want to possess it. Sabi ang logic, no? Very simple lang talaga ang Panginoon. He doesn't make things complicated. He gave his life for us. We just received. Sabi, no? But then if you look at some of the previous verses ng Numbers chapter 13, there's challenge. Okay? First point is there's challenge. In Numbers chapter 13, verse uh, 32 to 33, if you will look at there. Numbers chapter 13. And they brought up an evil report of the land which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we uh, have gone to search, it is a land that eateth up the inhabitants thereof, and all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Enoch which come of the giants and we were in our sight as grasshoppers and so we're in their sight so parang ano lang tayo tutupin lang tayo sa paningin nila sabi naman kasi malalaki nga sila they're giants no they're strong so there's challenge that they're going to face when they come here uh, when they come to Say, if they will possess Canaan, no? So many things, giants in life, battles. Now nowadays, our giant is the situation, no? For example, a COVID. What can hinder us from uh, from serving God, from coming to church? COVID, di ba? Ngayon, parang pinasastop yung lahat. 
the world stopped. The world stopped. But then, now we need to have Caleb's friend. We need to follow what Caleb is doing. Be strong. Okay? In Joshua chapter 1 verse 9, be strong and which is to not be terrified. Not be scared. Okay? For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. That's what this um, Caleb is telling us. No? Okay? So Caleb challenged, there were giants. The land. Maybe you have some troubles in life na napakalaki sa inyong buhay na naghihinder sa inyo sa pag-serve sa Panginoon. But God said, be strong and of good courage. Also, the giants were strong in position. Sa tamang ano sila, sa kung sa military ano sila, sa position sila para mag-defense sa inyo. In Numbers chapter 13 verse 17. Numbers 13:17. And Moses sent them to spy out the land of Canaan and said unto them, Get you up the way southward and go up into the mountain. In verse 18, and see the land what it is and the people that dwell it were therein. Were there, there be strong, weak, uh, few or many. So, when they came there, when they went there, uh, and the, what the land is that they dwell in there, yun yung gusto malaman ng spy, paging mispiyas, so that they will know what to do. So, verse 21, So they went up and searched the land from wilderness of Zin unto Rehob as man, Come from to Haman, and they ascended by the south and came unto Hebron, where Ahiman, Shisai, Talmai, the children of Anak, where? Where? Now Hebron was built seven years before Zoan and Egypt, and they came unto the brook of Isho and cut down from it. So in verse 20 to 20, we will see that when they ascended, they saw the position of the enemies. No? Of these giants, of these giants, they saw that they're in position. How can we penetrate this? They're in a good position. We cannot penetrate or we cannot possess this land because they're in the air. We have the strong defense in verse 28 of our chapter. Verse 28. Nevertheless, the people be the people be strong that dwell in the land and the cities are walled and very great, and moreover we saw the children of Enoch there. They have strong defense. Yan, kung titignan ng mundo, compare mo sa life as a Christian and life of this world, karabi ang ano ng mundo ngayon. Their defense, they're using their freedom of expression, Freedom of speech, so many things. Na naga freedom. They want freedom, but then they're bound. You can see that there's freedom. Na gusto nila maging uh, magawa nila ang gusto nila. That's what that's what the world wants us to see. You're free. You can do everything you want. That's their strong defense. You can do everything you want. You can be a boy even if you're a girl. You can be a girl even if you're a boy. You can have you can go and party at night. See, I want to party sila sa tumulo. What happened? Third wave. Diba? So, the world wants us to see that we are free. We are we can do everything. But then, you know, if we are free in that way, we will be bound to hell. Gusto mo magbound to hell, then be free. You're free to go. That's why God has given us this freedom, no? Bakit? Ginawa niya si Adam and Eve. Eva. 
Dahil sana na, harpas mo si Ada ngayon pa. Ayan. Bakit ginawa ni ang Panginoon si Adam and Eve na rasyonal? Diba? They can think on their own. Why are you rational? You can think on your own. Diba? Because you have freedom. But then, you have to use your freedom in the right way. Okay? That's why sin came into the world for by one man, for one man sin into the world and sin uh, and turn into all men in Romans chapter 6, no? So, lahat tayo nagkasala dahil doon. Ba't pa tayo magsistay sa, sa, sa kasalanan? Amen? We have the freedom if we possess the Lord Jesus Christ. Even though there's a strong defense in this world. Okay. Also, they are strong in determination. Yung kalaban. Enemies are strong in determination in verse 22 of our text. Verse 22. And they ascended by the south and came unto Hebron. Yon, men, Shishai, Talmai, children of Ana. So, persistent, strong, determined to stop you from having the Lord Jesus Christ or from possessing the Lord Jesus Christ in your life. The enemy's persistent. Satan is persistent to take you with him. So if you want to uh, yourself to go with him, you're free to go. Okay? But, remember, kalaglagan, okay? ano kalaglagan? Uh, if all, if all that, ang papuntahan niya, okay? you will be bound to eternal hell. Okay? You will be bound to eternal damnation. Okay? So, that's the challenge that Caleb had. And also, the giants are strong in arrogance. Very arrogant. No? Verse 22. But then we have to do this in number two. We need to have the courage. We need to have to have courage. In Numbers chapter 14, verse 6 and 9. Eight. And Joshua the son of Nun, and Caleb the son of Jephunneh, which were of them that searched the land, bent their clothes, and spake unto all the company of the children of Israel, saying, The land which we passed through to search it is an exceeding good land. Good land? At ayaw mo kunin, matakot kayo na kunin yung Patakot kayong i-possess ang land na yun. It's a good land filled with milk and honey. It's a land filled, it's, you know, mapapuhay tayo, there's, there will be um, liberty, there will be less wandering, less wandering, hindi na tayo pupunta na, ano na, mag magantay ng mana, ikot-ikot ng wilderness. We are there. That's our home. Amen? If you will see, again, sa, no, no, sa my uh, verse, or chapter 13, verse 30, sa last part, for we are well able to overcome it. He has faith. Brothers, brethren, may, ano siya, may faith, you know? Ah, uh, like, may pasok, pumasok lang sa isip ko. Nung, nung high school ako pala, kasi because of faith. Uh, may mga classmate ako na SGA, no? Uh, sabi, uh, sabi nung, na, 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 yung two Sundays ago. Ano sabi, uh, we are children of, uh, Abraham, Abraham's children lang tayo, di ba? Sabi ko, hindi mo tayo Israelites. Oh, si philosophy ka lang ano niya, the thing, kasi pero that, nung time na yun, talagang wala, wala, blank po, ah, blank tablet talaga si Jesus sa, ano, sa Bible. Kasi, ang 
jalan por una mano ni esa no es. Dice su vez, no me la hagan jalar por un. Sabe, uh, paano ka naging, paano nga sabi na maliligtas ka ka? Pero alam ko yung salvation. Alam ko yung way of salvation na uh, through grace. Tapos sinabi niya na sigurado ka, na ang, alam mo ba na anak lang ni ni Abraham ang maliligtas? Eh, Israelite naman si Abraham. Ang, ang kaligtasan, binigay pati sa Hintil. Hindi, ano lang, sa sa Israelites lang. Sabi ko, hindi ka naman Israelites. Paano mo nasabi na pumunta ka ng langit? Kaya naka ko ni Abraham eh. Paano mo nasabi na naka ni Abraham? Sa ano, sabi na sa, sa Genesis, di ba? Father of all nations siya eh. I, I'm his son. Israelite ka? Eh, pero totoo, tapos naman talaga kasi milong niya. Ako, sabi ko, hindi ako magpananiwala ng Israelite ako. Wala akong milong eh. Di ba? You will see that yung mga Middle Eastern na ano, na mga puging, talagang na ala ala dyan-dyan ang ilong. Ha? Ala, ala river. <laughs> ala bali. <laughs> yung, yun, lately ko lang na ano, yung mga previous years that we, Abraham is our father but he's our father of ko lang na ano, ano na. Abraham is our father, but father of faith. Ha? Yan, ano lang sa ano na. Uh, because of Caleb's courage, he has this faith, di ba? So, Caleb's courage in verse 6 and 9 of chapter 14. Verse chapter 14. Caleb saw the problem in God's perspective at his own time. If you're facing problem now, look at God's. Also, from God's purpose. Caleb looked at it God's purpose ng Panginoon, bakit kanya dinala doon sa kanya. God's purpose, why he died on the cross. What's God's purpose? Why were you here? Also, Caleb saw problem from God's promises. Okay? God promised them that they will conquer Canaan. So, First, there's the challenge for you. But then, Caleb's courage. There's also Caleb's courage. The second point. There's courage. Because he saw, not in his own perspective, not as a man's perspective, but through God's perspective, through God's purpose, and through God's promises. Every time we encounter problems in life, let's focus on God. Let's put God's Let's see God's perspective. No? Purpose and promises. Also, the last point we have. There's the conquest. Caleb's conquest. There's a conquest. What do you mean by conquest? Victory. What has caused Caleb to have the victory? Okay, in six. If you will read uh, verse six, Joshua the son of Nun, Caleb the son of Tipane, which were of them that searched the land, went their fields, and called on the children of the land which we possess. Which we pass through to search it is an exceeding good land. If the Lord delight in us, then He will bring us into this land and give it to us. The land which floweth with milk and honey. Mine only rebel not ye against the Lord. No, only rebel not ye against the Lord. 
neither fear ye the people of the land, for they are bread for us. Their defense is departed from them, and the Lord is with us. Fear them not. But all the congregation bade stone them with stones. And the glory of the Lord appeared in the tabernacle of the congregation before all the children of Israel. 11. And the Lord said unto Moses, How long will this people provoke me? And how long will it be ere they believe me? For all the signs which I have shown among them, I will smite them with the pestilence and disinherit them, and will make of the, thee a greater nation and mightier than they. Moses said unto the Lord, Then the Egyptians shall hear it, for thou broughtest up these people, that they might from among them. And they will tell it to the inhabitants of this land, for they have heard that the Lord art, art among these people, and the Lord art seen face to face, and that the cloud standeth, the cloud standeth over them, and that thou goest before them. At daytime, a pillar of cloud, and a pillar of fire. Yeah. So, makita natin yung uh, ano ng Panginoon sa conquest, the victory Caleb, Jesus or the Lord have shown himself to all the company the Lord will show himself before you, if, if you're in trouble, the Lord will show himself through his power, through his might, his mercy he will be there so what caused Caleb to have this victory? For one, his undiminished in verses 6 to 9. Okay, so he was here. If the Lord delight in us, then he will bring us to his land. And land which goeth milk and God is there. Promised you. Yun nga, sabi ng ano, Caleb saw his problem. This problem through God's promises. Tanya sa promise ng Panginoon na, I will give you this land. Tanya, sinabi ng Jesus Christo sa atin that I will, I will, uh, from now, uh, from today, sabi niya dun sa kasama niya sa cross, na ano pa ako sa cross, thou shalt be with me in paradise. Just believe on him and you will be with him. If you have a problem, you will overcome it because of him. He promised that he will give peace to you, right? Number two, his full-hearted obedience, not half-hearted. Full-hearted, verse 9, only rebel not ye against the Lord. Dapat full-hearted, not half-hearted. Pumunta ka ng simbahan, dapat full-hearted, not half-hearted. Uh, I don't mean uh, I'm preaching here and saying that's why I'm preaching this one because I'm I'm being struck by this message. No, yun yah, sabi two weeks na na sabay ka lang na kapuwang. That's why you need to have Christ in you. Sometimes may half-hearted disobedience din eh, na obedience lang eh, no? Ayo. And also in Joshua chapter, uh, let's read Joshua uh, chapter 14, verse 14. Hebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb, the son of Jephani, and uh, Kenizzite unto this day, because that he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. And wholehearted, wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. What's that? No, yung yung price na kanya, he earned Hebron. Okay. Also in verse nine of Joshua chapter. 
And Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land whereon thy feet have trodden shall be thy inheritance, and thy children's forever be uh, uh, inheritance, and thy children's forever, because thou hast fully followed the Lord thy God. Amen. Joshua chapter 14, verse 9. And also, strength, number three. Strength in Joshua chapter 14, verse 11. As yet I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me as strength now, uh, sent me as my strength was then, even so is my strength now for war both to go out and come. See, uh, Caleb's conquest, Caleb's victory is because of the strength that God has given to him. And also in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. Isaiah chapter 40, verse But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. We have Jesus. In if we have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, we will be victorious. He will give us strength in the things that we face, in the trials that we face, in the problems that we face, because Jesus will give us the power and the strength. But the thing is, we have to wholly obey him. We have to have an agreement. In Joshua chapter 6 verse 7, 6 to 7 and Joshua chapter 6 uh, chapter 14 verse 6 to 7 Then the children of Judah came unto Joshua and Gilgar and Caleb the son of Jephunneh and Kenazai said unto him Thou knowest the thing the Lord said to Moses the man of God concerning me and thee in Kadesh Barnea Kadesh Barnea. Forty years old was I when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to spy out the land, and I brought him word again as it was in my undiminished age. And now, the conclusion for us to possess God's promises in us, we need to accept. We need to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior. Those who are listening at home, you have to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior first. Because you will never really feel the possession if you don't possess the Lord Jesus Christ. And now, when you have Jesus Christ, possess Him more and more heartedly in your heart. Obey Him. Show courage. Show there will be challenges in you that you will face, but then have no fear, be of good courage, and you will be victorious. Okay? In Christ, we are complete. Okay? But for us to be complete, if we are experiencing troubles in life, we need to see everything in God's perspective, see it in God's promises, and see it in God's purposes we will be able to access our possession if you are truly a Christian you have to possess that possession if you really possess Jesus Christ we are the light of the world and so you have to show to the world that you really possess the Lord Jesus Christ do you possess Jesus Christ in your life? Your life? Do you live day by day showing to others the Lord Jesus Christ? I may not be perfect. I want to show. That's my thing. I want to show to the world that I'm a Christian. That Jesus Christ is alive. I hope that's enough. Let's pray. Father Lord, we thank you. Thank God for the message. We know.
For all our troubles and trials, you are there because we, you are with us. You are possessed. We, we possess you, oh Lord. God, thank you for the message to the life of Christ. God, thank you, Lord God, that in times of challenges, we possess courage. We'll be able to have tears. Thank you, Lord God, that your death on the cross we are able to conquer the death of hell and bring salvation, your resurrection. Thank you, Lord God, for, for being a father to us. Love us with an everlasting salvation to the Lord Jesus Christ. God, I'm God, thank all of us that we're we're going to heaven. God, we have problems. God, thank God for having us and loving you. Thank that we will possess you. God, are we blessed? Amen. Uh, uh, allow me to share this to you first, no? Because I am so blessed with the message. Allow me to uh, share this to you. I saw this in Facebook, and there is a famous comedian and also a famous boxer. So this famous comedian asked the famous boxer, no, while they're in, in a bucket of ice. He asked the famous boxer, yeah. What is your most prized possession? And then the famous boxer said that my plane, his prized possession is his plane. And it really breaks my heart no? to hear that. No? And I also saw this in a quote that I hope that you will find all the riches that you will achieve everything in your life for you to realize how empty you are. Diba? So what should be our most prized possession? Sabi pa nga ng Panginoon, the Revelation the Revelation 3.20 Behold, I stand at the door and knock if any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come to him, into him, and will soon with him, and he with me. We as Christians, our precious possession must be God, our salvation. So let us act, let us stand together no? as one to fulfill the promises of the Lord. But I let us hear that gamitin tayo ng Panginoon for the unbelievers to be an instrument to them for them to be saved. And darating yung time na masasabi natin na yung most prized possession natin is our salvation. It is God. Hindi yung play. It really hurts my heart frankly but Let's pray for them. Let's pray for them. Praise God for the message, no? So let us hear 